Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna help you get rid of that waiter tray serve. So a lot of you out there right now are thinking, oh man, I can't really improve my tennis game right now because the weather is so cold, it's nasty. Can't wait for the spring to come. Gonna start working on my tennis game. This is a bad way to look at it. What you wanna be able to do is if you really wanna improve at something, you wanna look at something just outside of your skill set and then have deep focus practice on that skill set. And the best way, in my opinion, in pretty much any sport, that's not tennis, is to do what they call shadow exercises, choreographing the moves without actually hitting the ball, okay? So one of the things that really keeps us back from having a nice professional looking serve is that waiter tray, that classic waiter tray and most people start out serving, it makes a lot of sense to come back here and then push the ball forward. It's very easy to hit the ball like that. So it becomes a bear of a project to get rid of, especially if you just keep going out to the court and practicing your serve and hoping that it's going to change. You need to have a deep focus practice. You need to be aware of your movements. So this is what I want you to practice today. First of all, I want you to get a brush, not a racket. So you can be a little more in tune with your body and be able to feel what's going on. And then we're going to strike a position, I'm going to call it striking the pose that you probably never even look like on your serve. And if we can just get this one move down, see, we can break things into bite-sized chunks, then you can really improve. This is something I'm reading the talent code right now. It's amazing. And it, it basically reinforces a lot of what I already believe and that you got deep focus practice, that you got to have to be aware of what you're doing, and you got to film yourself. So this is what I want you to do. Get your brush. Let's strike the pose. What you're going to do, first of all, is have a nice, weak wrist. You want this wrist to kind of be like breaking down this way. This is going to help us get a, a lot of nice power. You see how that already looks like powerful, where this looks weak if I'm going to serve? Powerful, weak. So we're going to get this position, and then we're going to make contact with this part of our head. Watch this right here. So I'm gonna get here, here. I'm going to then push my hip out and my arm up as high as it can go, my toss arm up as high as it can go, and we're gonna strike the pose. And watch how good this looks. Right here, we're gonna strike that pose. And the other thing we're gonna do is once we get there, is we're just gonna turn the torso a little bit so we get that little extra power. Look at that, they're striking the pose. So if you can get this, now we're pretty close having a, a really good racket drop, okay? So instead of the waiter tray being back here, we're here, and the next thing we're gonna be doing is going down our back and ready to hit. But I just want you to focus on that one move today. Don't worry about anything else. And uh, this is something I love to do with people, especially in the off season, is really going through progression step by step by step. So if mastering the serve is something that you wanna do this year, I've actually got a free course for you right now to get you started that I want you, once you get on my list, I want you to try a lot of my challenges because we do challenges, but this start, with a course called Serving A to Z. It's gonna pretty much teach you anything you need to know on the serve. There's 33 free videos, and I'm going to put it in the uh, card section. Once you click the card section, then you gotta look downwards, okay? So YouTube's kind of changed. Click the card section, then you look down under the video, you'll find the link, and then also in the description. All right, guys, happy holidays. We'll see you on the next video.